everybody gets asked in the morning um, what uh, <laughs> what you want for dinner. Do you want sausage or do you want a burger, for instance? Right, so you'll click sausage for bur- or, or a burger. So the prison officer standing there with a fucking sheet and he will come up and he will say, right, English, you're down for a burger. So then I'd go to put the burger on. Well, this lad decided he wanted a fucking sausage, right? Now, I know how this sounds, but the thing is, what you've got to think of is they've only made a certain amount of sausages yeah. and a certain amount of fucking burgers. Mm. So now, if I give you that fucking sausage... <laughs> Crusher ain't going to have anything to fucking eat, right? He's and he's going to fucking don't. blame me. Yeah. So I'm thinking, <laughs> what do I do? Right? I've been put in a fucking situation here. So I looked at him and I said, mate, you're down for a burger. I said, you can't have a burger. And he's looked at me and he's kissed his teeth. And he said to me, bruv, listen, he said, I'm having a fucking sausage. Give me a sausage. And I'm like, you're not having a fucking sausage. Right, my mate's looking at me, he's like, Aaron, give, just give him the fucking sausage, right? <laughs> and my mate, he's a pro boxer, but he, he's, you know, one of them ones that don't look violent. He's yeah, so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just don't want a confrontation. Mm. He's like, Aaron, give him a fucking sausage for fuck's sake. And he's trying to talk to me, but without the guy knowing that he's talking mm. to me. I'm like, Scott, I ain't giving him a fucking sausage. Fuck him. <laughs> and the guy's looking at me, he's on remand um, for so many fucking shootings. <laughs> I think stealing sausages yeah, <laughs> he's this fucking big tall mixed race guy right so I've got a fucking a, 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 a bit of a way to fucking jump as well to hit him and uh, but now he's doing that thing where he won't he won't look at me now he's looking at everybody else as he's talking to me shut your mouth man give me a sausage I'll take the fucking sausage and I'm like I'm over here if you're going to talk to me have a conversation with me fucking look at me don't be so fucking rude and you're not having a sausage you're not having for a fucking burger I've just told you you're not having a sausage well I had the spatula in my hand so he's kissed his teeth and he's gone to take the fucking sausage. So I fucking slapped his hand with the spatula, didn't I? And it's really hurt him, right? Because it's a metal fucking spatula, right? So as I've hit his hand with the fucking with the spatula, Scott has just fucking started laughing. The screws have fucking started laughing. Everyone's fucking laughing. He's now fucking like pissed off. Mm. Um, and then it just fucking escalated, didn't it? So I'm now trying to get over the fucking surgery with this fucking spatula. I think I managed to catch him on the head. I think as we were getting, I was getting pulled off. And I managed to fucking hit him with the spatula. Um, and then he was mouthing, and then that was it. I think it was a week later. They give me. They said, right, do you want to work on the surgery again? I said, all right, fine, I'll work on the surgery. I said, no trouble. I said, I didn't fucking start it last time. He wanted a fucking sausage. He was down for a fucking burger. What do you want me to do? So they put me down there. They had a word with him. Everything was, well, was all right. He, he would look at me. I would look at him, and that was it. Same lad came down, and uh, he had his tray, and he went through everything. And my job now was handing out the bread. All right, so I've got a loaf of bread in my hand. And this is what really escalated everything. <laughs> just, just when you think he couldn't. Um, he's going with his fucking tray, and he gets his food, and he turns around, and now he's in front of me. So I've got two slices of bread in my hand plus the, 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 the fucking bag of bread and he's just looking at me but when he's looking at me it literally it's like this I'm looking like this right, he's fucking tall mm-hmm. and it's, it's just awkward he's not saying anything I'm not saying anything there's people waiting they've got some people that want bread so I'm like all I said to him was do you want the fucking bread or not that's all I said to him he, he kissed his teeth again <laughs> oh, that that, yeah. <laughs> he then turned around to the officer Mr Clayton I remember his name Looked at him and he went, I'm going to fucking bang Lambert. So Mr. Clayton looked at him and went, go on then. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Right? So he's fucking turned round. As he's turned round, he's turned it back to me. And he's put the fucking tray on the, on the counter. When I'm thinking, I'm fucking giving him a chance, am I? So he's turned round and I've just gone bang. I've hit him. It was a brilliant one as well. Sparked him. He's gone right round and dropped fucking out of it. So I thought, fuck it. Jump in. So I thought, it. fucking started stamping on him. I went a bit fucking ape shit sort of create a scene in the fucking wing, you know. What I didn't realise, if me and you go to prison for assault or theft, we go to prison. Somebody goes to prison for gang-related crime, they all go to prison together, on the same Ah, wing together. mm -hmm. So as I've done that, screws have pressed the alarm, they've come in, they've broke it up, stopped fighting, they've fucking got me, they've fucking got my arms behind my back. All I hear is, fucking what? And I turn around and I see them all up the stairs and I'm like... Here we fucking go. So then you've got to put on a fucking front, in you? Yeah. Um, and then that was it for a few days. I then found out that um, there was some plans to fucking do me um, with his friend, because we got separated then, um, with one of the guys that he was a co with. So he wasn't on the wing now. Um, 
and they were planning to do me an association. So this is what you've got to think. You've got to think, right, well, you, are you going to wait until your adrenaline's down and then they catch you unaware or do you just fucking start it? Well, the way I see it in prison, if me and you're having an argument over a pool table and you threaten me and say, Lambert, tomorrow morning you're fucked, I'm going to bang you. I'm going to attack you there and then. Fuck it, because I'm not waiting until tomorrow morning. I'm going to give you then time to think what you're going to attack me with, who you're going to attack me with. Because they're not just going to, the likelihood of them just having a one-on-one -on -one bare knuckle in the prison yard, trust me, people, yeah. that doesn't fucking happen, you know? So you, you, you obviously want to be in control of whatever scenario is going to take place, in my opinion, okay? So um, that's how I've always dealt with it. So I was told that this lad was um, planning to have me over. So as soon as they unlocked me, I stormed into a cell. There was two other lads in the cell. Uh, he was on the bed and I had him by the scruff of his neck. Um, even when I think about it now, there was other two there. They could have done something. They didn't. And I, I'm screaming at him. And I'm saying to him, you fucking plan to have me. I've heard this, I've heard that. No, but I ain't got an issue. I ain't got an issue, bruv. That's between you and him. That's between you and him. So I let him go. And I called him a fucking pussy. And I walked out. As I walked out, I walked up the stairs. All three of them came out, ran up. Um, one of them um, had a... I think it was... Um, uh, peg or something off of um, out of engineering off of a motorbike mm -hmm. or something and one of them had made a, a lighter uh, sorry a, a, a knife out of uh, lighters um, that were melted together mm -hmm. you know so made like a plastic yeah. knife so they've gone up run up um, hit me in the back of the head as I've gone down they've gone to fucking stab me in the throat yeah. but my head has gone down so as it's gone down it's gone straight through and it's snapped inside my jaw so, but because there was a lot of blood, they thought that they'd actually um, oh, got me. And then when I went down, and the only reason why I know this is because I saw the CCTV after, then all three of them were stamping on my head um, and that was it, I was fucked. The prison officers, there was two prison officers on the wing at the time, a male and a female. The male ran off the wing, pressed the alarm and locked the door. The female stayed on the wing and um, yeah, she saved my life. She ran over and from what I see, um, jumped on me, bear hugged me and um, where they were kicking me in the head, they were now kicking her shoulder, they were then kicking her in the head, they were kicking her in her back, they were stamping on her and uh, if she never had done that, from what the doctor said, it would have been Pretty seconds, yeah, dead. Did you yeah. ever speak to that woman? Afterwards, yeah, yeah. we joked. Um, afterwards because she had to get a new uniform <laughs> she was covered in uh, uh blood. covered in blood but never spoke to her again i don't even know her name so uh, yeah she, she watching, uh, man. Reach out. That's... she yeah she was incredibly fucking mm. strong because she you didn't feel have to blessed, do Aaron? Did. even though all the misery and torment you've been through do you feel blessed to still be here to raise a family to now support your own family to now running successful businesses do you see yourself as being lucky still to be here Look, look, well, what is luck? Luck is what you've been given, right? Yeah. No. No. Not through everything. I think luck is what you make it. Yeah, make your own luck. I agree. I was totally. put in that situation because mm -hmm. I acted a fucking twat. Do you think um, that brought you down a peg or two then? To I was put in the situation in care because of because of my 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 mum and other people in my life allowed me to be put in that fucking situation. I'm in the situation that I'm in now because I fucking choose to be. Mm -hmm. So I've now decided to create my own luck. Now I've decided not to fucking fail. So what is luck? Luck is what you've been given, so no.